Liverpool FA Cup weekend and one that everyone's been looking forward to for some time? Yeah, I think certainly since the Bournemouth result and you know, the cup draw being such an exciting draw with such a big club coming to the DW Stadium. It's a very attractive tie. It's a, it's a tie we're all very much looking forward to. It'll be a good game. You know, it's, I think it'll be a really good football match for people to view. You know, I think there'll be plenty of goals in the game. So, must take confidence as well. The display against Bournemouth, as well as the result up against now another Premier League side at the DW. Our lads have been playing well for a period of time. Now we have little dips in form, like everybody does, where we can't reach the standards that they've previously set. But it's probably due to the high standards that the players have set that it's difficult to keep reproducing that. So we just keep going and working away. You know, the lads have been a credit to themselves all season. You know, they always bounce back from disappointment quickly. They, they keep going. The result at Plymouth last week was one of our better results of the season by far because we never played well on the day. For sure, we were under pressure in the game for long periods, but you know they found a way to win, and sometimes that's an important ingredient for the team to have. You must find a way. And certainly, this group to date have done that really well. We know all the hardships in front of us at the minute, both in the FA Cup and the league. You know, there's so much work to be done. You know, but the group are embracing everything that's put in front of them. That's been the thing in recent weeks, shown flair, creativity, controlled discipline as well in, in all of the games, found a way to win. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt from the disappointment to Bournemouth equalising at such a late stage to the results since. Do you know, the Peterborough game, we just don't manage to get a goal that could probably win us the game and then we bounce back. So, all in all, everything's going well, but as we keep saying all year, it's a long, long season. And, you know, we do, our, we pride ourselves on not getting ahead of ourselves. You know, disappointment is, you know, very... Closer time, there's two teams at the minute, Shrewsbury and Blackburn, who are chasing us down very hard in the league for sure. You know, going into the FA Cup game tomorrow, we've got a really difficult game at West Ham, so we've got so much football to play. I suppose that last minute goal against Bournemouth it was the closest you've come to that losing feeling over recent weeks. Has that sort of served as a reminder and, and sort of kick start and galvanised the side? I don't think so. I think when any team goes on unbeaten runs, I think the disappointment of losing will always be there. That's part and parcel of the game, no matter who you are, I think. Most important thing is how quickly you pick yourself up. I think for all football teams, how you manage disappointment will decide, in my opinion, your fate. You know, people who don't deal with disappointment well will struggle. You know, for us as a club, we pride ourselves on going again and again. And it'll only be the, at the end of the race, the league plan program, where people will say what people deserve or don't deserve. And on the FA Cup, one that means an awful lot to the fans as well. Oh, massively. You know, with the. Historical value the Cups had, you know, previously to winning the FA Cup, it was always the good FA Cup runs. I think once you climb Everest, it's always something you've done. So for us as a club, their memories will never go away. I'm sure for the majority of Wigan fans, it will be the peak of your memories. You know, anything recreated from there towards that would be great for a fan. In terms of team selection, Jay Fulton joined yesterday. Is he likely to be involved? Everyone's likely to be involved. It's, it's football. I don't think, you know, we haven't had the biggest squad like some people would think. You know, we've been touch wood very lucky with injuries and suspensions, etc. And the group stayed really strong. Obviously, with Lee Evans moving on, there was always a spot there and possibly a spot more or two where we might look to strengthen us for the running. You know, so the squad will be picked out of the players tomorrow. Certainly, Jay coming in is part and parcel of that. So, you know, we look forward to the game. As I say, whatever team selected will do the best to make the, pan, the, the fans very happy. Good age comes with a, a fair bit of experience from Scotland as well as from Swansea. What can the fans expect from him? I, you know, again, you know, I don't like to speak too much about the players. I think people can put certainly too much pressure on players coming in. You know, our squad's in a really good place at the minute. So, you know, any acquisition previously, Jamie Walker, you know, James Ford, these lads come in and you know they'll join the squad and fight hard for the place. I think, I think if you look at James' pedigree and you know where he's been, and I think if you're a central midfielder at Swansea, I think one of the the prerequisites would be that you can handle the ball. You know, certainly we like to dominate the ball. So in that areas. I think any type of competition for places for Max, Perks, Sammy Morsey is healthy for the club. Taking your time to, to build this squad now, you've been involved with successful squads at your last two clubs as well. How does the mentality of this group rank alongside other squads you've had? But you can't un until you achieve any type of success. It's, it's very foolish for you to speak about such, such stuff. You know, to date, this group are the best group we've worked with. You know, this this both in terms of ability and mental strength, etc. But that comes with the quality of player that's at the club. So to date we're going along really well, there's such a long way to go before anyone can speak about any successes, whether that be in the FA Cup, which at five o'clock tomorrow we could be out of, and the league campaign, which by Tuesday night we might be top of the league if Everton went against us. So football can change that quick. For us it's staying very focused on each game, the West Ham game first, and then the next league game and the league game after, 
And as I say, coming into the season, you'd all get what you deserve.